Hello, I'm your host, Derek Gerber, and welcome to another episode of Press Play. I'm really excited today. I have one of my good friends here, Will Christ. He's a certified EOS implementer, which is, stands for the Entrepreneurial Operating System, uh, where he helps entrepreneurs, leadership, and everyone else inside of organizations work to achieve things as written in the new book by Gino Wickman, The EOS Life. He wants people to only do what you love with only the people that you love, making a huge difference in what you want to do and also being compensated appropriately with time for other passions. Those five things, a part of the EOS life is what he helps bring to life inside of organizations. So welcome, Will. I want you to tell us more about this today. So tell us more about yourself and what you do with EOS. Well, I'm having a great time. Uh, I, what My passion is helping businesses be the best they can be. And when you look around today, I mean, there's a couple of things that are really affecting us. I mean, of course, you know, this big logistics snafu is on everybody's minds, but there's two things that happen in the summer that are having consequences. Now, one is what I call the great shuffle. Everybody having the opportunity after this 18 months of quarantine to think about where do I really want to live? Because given that we've now made Zoom as comfortable as picking up the telephone, we can live any place that we want to. <laughs> and so lots of my friends are moving, not just in and out of California, but all around the country. And so, and that to me is exciting. It really stirs it up. So moving around is important. And number two, the great resignation, where people are coming out of, the, uh, of COVID having had this opportunity to maybe for the first time in a long time, take responsibility for their lives, not just responsibility to get to work at eight o'clock in the morning, but to actually do something to put food on the table. And so this 18 months has allowed them to consider what do I want to do for the rest of my life? Right? So important. And, and that means that 50% of the people who are now employed are considering res resigning and looking for that thing that they love doing. Now, businesses are feeling that. I mean, I heard this morning on, a, on a, a GMA, on Good Morning America, that Ben & Jerry's has to reduce the number of flavors that they're going to have in the, drugs, in the grocery store because they don't have enough workers. So what that means is companies are going to have to change the way that they recruit, retain, and motivate their people. That's where I think that getting really clear about how we are organizing our businesses. Now, lots of people have, have read Traction, right? And, and this is really the how of how to make something happen in business to make the business work better. But this new book that Gino's just put out called The EOS Life is the why. Makes sense. And, and I believe that as EOS worldwide achieves our goal of by 2030, having implemented EOS in 100,000 companies around the world, that that's going to be a big lever in helping companies to learn how to change the way they recruit, retain and motivate their people. And when they begin to focus on helping their, their employees live a quality life. And those five things, not only the owner and the leadership team, but everybody in the organization doing what they love doing, what Dan Sullivan calls their unique ability. They're more productive, they're more excited, it's more fun doing what you love doing. And if you can't do it in this place, then let's find a place where you can do it, which is what I believe a lot of folks are looking for today. So a company that says, we're dedicated to helping you do what you love doing. Number two, with people you love. So we have 100% of the people in the organization, they're right people. That means that they live out the core values of the company and they're in the right seat. They're loving doing what they're doing. They want to do it. They understand the importance of it and they are, are, are capable of doing it. That's right. And so 
doing what you love, with people you love, making a great contribution. And you know that you're making it because every business <clears throat> to bring value to its customers. Fair? That's right. Well, you know, and I think what you're talking about is so important, which is why it's awesome to have you here, is that we were just talking on another episode of the mass quit, the four or five million people quitting their jobs during this this new normal 2.0, 3.0, whatever that might be. And now people are looking to not only find themselves, but companies are looking for that why. And I think that why has been missing for a little while. And because of everything we've been through together, you're the guy to help bring light to that. And I love that. So what is it about EOS that spoke to you and allowed you to succeed in your mission of helping these other leaders and everyone else in the organization, right? All employees, this is the deeper thing, not just leadership team, but the whole team reach their highest potential in these areas. What is about EOS? Well, now it's not just me. EOS is not Will Chris, and it's not even Gino Wickman. It's 435 implementers around the world, which is going to become 700 in the next couple of years. Wow. And wow. so what is it that drives us? Because literally we all do exactly the same thing. Now we might have a personality, uh, uh, you know, a personality that does particular things in, in training, but we're all using the same script. We have the same process. In fact, we work with each other to make sure that we're pure about what we do, i.e. we're doing it the way that works best for company. And so what caught me was back when I was a Sandler trainer for 18 years, you remember that time. I do. We, uh, you helped me and a lot of other companies make a lot of money. Well, that's right. And so what would happen is I could come into a company and help them double, triple, quadruple their revenue. But that that in you know by by we did that by making sales uh, better sales people better sales management better but that didn't always make the company better sometimes it even blew the company up because the sales were so big that the back end couldn't produce it but so i learned that and then the other option was to become an individual coach for executives i see well that to me did not have enough leverage because what that meant was I, if I were to spend my time helping a, an executive get better, get clearer about the obstacles in, in his or her head, they would still have to go back and implement those changes in the company. And they didn't often know how to do that. So when one of my clients came to me and said, Will, I, we were working, you know, his company had been purchased by a roll-up in Boston. They were a, a remote network management company. And he said, I am now the VP of, of the division for remote network management. I got 60 people around the country, but we're using this thing called EOS, and this is you. This that's is what amazing. you were looking for. I yeah. picked up the phone and called Gino, and that's when I got excited because now there was a comprehensive system, a how for how to make companies better. That's right. It's it's not it's not some fad thing. It's it's literally all over the world and over 10,000 businesses to date from what I understand and heading towards the 100,000 mark sooner rather than later. And like that's what gets me really pumped up is that there's a way to standardize the way we could all work through business in a structuredized science. Here's how we should do it. Here's how we should measure it. But here's why we do it. And again, back to that. I feel like people are looking more for connections now than ever and that Absolutely. includes the place in which they're employed. And if they don't, those values don't match, guess what? There's there's more opportunity than ever with this thing called the interwebs for anyone <laughs> else to work remotely and do creative things. For right. Them. So right. I think that's just really important to consider. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I mean, I mean, what's important is you know doing what you love doing because that's where you're going to find the most fulfillment. Yeah. And and that's where you're going to be digging in here rather than looking at where do I go next. The grass is always greener on the other side, and well, no, yeah, it's greener it, right it, here. It's right it, here, and it, it has to do—it has to do not with what my title is, but what I'm actually doing, and am I actually doing what I love doing? Yes. And and you know, am I doing with people I love, which share my core values, and it, am I making a contribution? And then, am I being compensated appropriately? Now, I don't believe that being compensated appropriately means I work 40 hours and then I have to go get one or two other jobs to put food on the table. Yes. And that's the responsibility of, of leadership teams 
to make sure that people who are doing good work are being compensated appropriately so they can live a good life. Absolutely. And then finally, not working 70, 80 hours a week, but working, having enough time for my other passions, which very often includes my family. Okay. And those five things, when businesses begin to understand that's what we offer, that's our job, certainly making a profit is important, but at the same time, providing that kind of quality life, that opportunity for a quality life, that changes the whole, the whole of business. And the reason that I got into EOS was because I saw this is a, business is a major lever for social change. I mean, it's not, it's not politics, it's not government. I wish it were the church, but it's not. It's not even education in the short term. Now, long term, 20, 30, 40 years, yes. But in the next five to 10 years, when we have 100,000 people, uh, companies using EOS, and just imagine 50 companies, uh, 50 people in each company is an average. Yeah. That's a lot of people's lives who are changed. And that's, right. that's, what, that's what excites me every day. You know, and really, I think like when you can feel that from the top down, right? I mean, that that's that's not some branding thing. It's like an altruistic thing. Like this is holistically what we are about. These are our values, and this is how we operate. So we will follow these things for measurement. But then here's how we're gonna go do it. I love hearing those things come to life uh, for sure. And and what is it that you find about connecting with the audience of these hungry professionals? I want to bring that to life, right? Like, what's the key ingredient maybe that you would say uh, separates the, the best from the maybe not as good? Well, I, I, think, I think people get all caught up in a number of different things. One is what we learned about a long time ago in terms of sales, right? Okay. That it's never about the price. It's not about price. And, and it's really not about money because if you're doing what you love, we learned 30 years ago, if you do what you love, the money will follow. Yeah. Right? So it's really getting really clear about what is it that I am uniquely equipped to do. Some people have even said, what was I sent here to do? What is my, what is my task in this life? But even if it's what, what do, am I equipped to do? What do I love doing? Finding that is going to produce value for people. And, right. and once we're looking at value, then how do we share that, the results of that value with people so that we can all live a great life? Now, what happened back in 2008 was really a difficult thing because if you remember, in 2008 was when lots of companies because of globalization, because of, uh, of, of uh, trade agreements, they broke the contract with the American workers. They said, you are an asset and you're too expensive to use. So we have found a place where there is a less expensive asset. Now, that's, true. That, that's not necessarily the bad thing because that's how businesses work. Yes. And, and it did produce a lot of value for people in other parts of the world. What we didn't do was we didn't say, this is going to have an impact upon you, especially the white middle class working group, which is about 50% of the people in America. Yeah. Now, we, we do great things. We attempt to do great things with things like food stamps, but nobody said we're going to supply you with training stamps we're going to help you re-educate yourself to retrain yourself to move into these new businesses so that you can continue to provide for your family you know if it's a male at that big male thing about i'm doing the right thing we didn't do that we somehow said it's your responsibility to figure it out and make it work and that's not going to work for us that's right. That's right. And like, I think like when you look at 
the different campaigns and strategies that the EOS team has been running to attract more of these people looking for, you know, who are struggling, looking for certainty during uncertainty, you know, what would be your answer as to where have you found the most impact through these campaigns and strategies of outreach in finding these places? Where, where are they generally located? Where could someone go to find help if they're looking for these types of things themselves? Well, where they can go, they can go to EOS Worldwide. Uh, they can call me. It's very simple. Will Chris to Will Chris dot com will get you there. Uh, it could, but it, it really it really is l recognizing that the world has changed dramatically as a business owner. And if the biz if the world has changed dramatically, then I as a business in order to uh, attract, uh, uh, retain, motivate people. Sorry. I have to change as a business. Right. And that's not just change my marketing or change my production. That's change the way we work with people. And people are not just assets in the same class as a machine or uh, digital, uh, digital communication. Human right. beings are going to stick around when they believe people are on their side. That's right. With all the, the robots, the world's AI automation takeover of things, you still can't fully replace people. And investing in people is often the difference in terms of longevity and creating the values that matter most. Otherwise, everything's interchangeable. And what what is value at that point? And I think that just come in full circle on that idea. What I like is that through the EOS program, I believe there's tons of video content that's used, tons of thought leadership that's simplified into a manner that breaks us down into a science of how to measure something, but then creating that value of why. So when we talk about on this show, the three pillars of awareness, education, and revenue, I love pulling back the layers on this education topic because that's what we're doing. We're educating, we're not, we're not re-innovating. We're bringing those simple concepts to, to you to uncover yourself. Does that sound about right, Will? I mean, making people bring the answers to life here? Well, yeah, and, and education, doesn't mean something brand new we just discovered because with EOS we tell people every time we get started you're not going to find silver bullets here something brand new everything in EOS is 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 the things that have been around for a for a hundred years and they'll be around for a thousand more what Gino did was he took the things that were working in business from a variety of systems that were piecemeal and That's what right. he did was he said, it's not just a matter of reading the book. It's not just a matter of getting the idea. It's a matter of yeah. implementing this. And so that's why we, we work with people at least two years, sometimes longer, rarely shorter, but it's at least a two year program because we are literally retraining managers we're retraining people so that they're looking out ahead where they want to be, not next quarter, but next 10 years from now. Where are we going? And we're very clear about how we're going to get there. And we're measuring that not only annually, but also quarterly and weekly. That's right. That's right. I mean, breaking down these things into more digestible chunks, but from what has been proven, not trying something crazy, but we've all been trained and kind of pushed in a certain way and getting those expectations back in line to balance out the how we do something and the why we do it, I think really creates the set goal for, for 10 years that people can rally behind, right? You know, for creating that longevity and those relationships, those connections we discussed. So what would you say, Will, would be the next evolution of consulting or coaching as EOS is growing here, right? Where are you finding the areas of best success of, of actually applying the knowledge learned here? Well, it, it's, it's, it's not any different, and I don't believe it's going to change. Now, one significant, one significant development was during uh, COVID, 100% of the, of the EOS implementers had to learn how to do Zoom. I mean, it was... <laughs> now, now you remember in Sandler for for ten years I'd been using Zoom for training, so that wasn't a big change for me. It did it did mean I had to reorganize the way we're doing because we were a paper based, face to face uh, uh, session uh, That's right. project. That's what we did. But now on Zoom, it's very different. So that was different. But other than that. It's not going to change. It is, is, is going to continue because it works. 
because it works. And one of the things that's really valuable is people can pick up the phone and call any EOS implementer. And one of our core values as implementers is help first. So you're not going to get a big sales, a big sales pitch. You're not going to have somebody trying to manipulate you into, into buying EOS. What, what would happen is people could talk about what their experience is to find out if there's a fit, and then people can decide whether they want to invest the time, the resources, and the money to make their business better. And it's not just the bottom line. It's, as I said before, it's responding to the changes in the marketplace, especially around people, and getting really clear about what our, what our intention is we want you to do only what you love doing. We don't want you to be doing things that you think you have to do, and we're not gonna be telling you what you have to do. We're gonna find people who love doing the things that we do as a business. Mm. We're gonna find, we're gonna make sure that people have all the opportunity in the world to get to know each other and to really love each other and respect each other because we all are working with a set of core values. We're gonna make sure that, you're, that you know how important it is the contribution that you're making every day toward helping our customers get better through using our products and services. We're gonna make sure that you are compensated appropriately, and if you're not, we're going to have a path to get there. And then finally, we wanna make sure that you are taking time for your other passions, and that's an important part of that is your family. And that kind of change I think will change this country because it's business is the biggest lever for improving the social world that I know of today. That's right. And, you know, I do find like most people want to take the task. They do want to run. They do want to do a good job. I feel like there's a lot of maybe perhaps division set up, but really people are, I mean, with the big four or five million do jobs quit <laughs> news update, right? I mean, that could just be a tip of an iceberg that people are trying to literally demonstrate that, hey, you know, I may just have to go somewhere else because now just my values don't align with what you're expecting. And I think that we all need to find ourselves a little bit from the company side, but then also the person side, like what's gonna be important to us. And I like that's what I'm hearing out of EOS is that through content, through the educational programs, through you providing genuine, insightful, and helpful information. Again, these are all the same types of points that we make on other episodes. Genuine, insightful, and helpful is always the key to helping others succeed and do what they wanna do in life. So what do you think, Will, is, is gonna be coming around the corner for you here in the next couple of years, huh? What are you excited about? Maybe you got a couple clients or stories that you could share with us before we wrap it up. Well, I, I mean, w w what I find exciting is I, I would challenge you. Uh, I've heard you use the word quit a couple of times. Ooh. I don't oh. think it's quit. I don't think people are quitting their jobs. I think they are choosing to find something that r aligns more with what they want to be doing. That is better phrasing. It allows them to make a choice and and i believe that the the you know the the values that we talk about this eos life i think that helps them articulate what they're looking for and, and so it's not so much a quitting because the quitting happened back in march of 2020 <laughs> yeah right and so now i get to make a choice do i want to go back to where i was before or do i want something different and if i want something different what does it look like that's a great point. How do I reevaluate? Yeah, what's intrinsically motivating to me as a person where I can find a place where we have the same cultural type of core value alignment. That, that's beautiful. Okay. Pure harmony. Yes. Well, I, I mean, you know, I, I just believe that that is a, an integral part of how we are moving forward as a country and as a global community. Because when I find companies that are working globally right now, and it's not just we're selling globally, it's we are using people. We have a community of people around the world who are working together. And when they get aligned, that makes a huge difference. <laughs> That's awesome. You can do more with the team than yourself. Yeah, if everyone's on the same page and everyone's in alignment, uh, things will go a lot further with the clear plan and vision. So. 
All right. All right. Well, well, hey, bud, thank you so much for being on the show today. Again, for everyone, please uh, visit willchris.com. Check out Will's work. He's done a lot of amazing things. He's helped a lot of companies not only make a lot of money, but also find a lot of happiness. So remember, both can be really good together. So, Will, I want to thank you again, my good friend. Thanks for being on the show today. And for everyone listening, I've been your host, Derek Gerber, on the Press Play podcast. Please like and subscribe and share if you haven't already. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Thank you.